let's go. We got Jakar J in the building. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jakar J, I lost y'all for a second. Something happened to my computer. But welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're going to go ahead and dive into. You muted yourself. Your mic muted, Isis. Oh, I'm muted. <laughs> My bad. Thank you so much. So I'm super elated, you guys, for this call tonight. I'm just really off the charts with my energy right now because I'm just super elated to give you guys this information because I know how much it has changed me. So before we get this uh, party started, my name is Isis Love. For some of you guys that don't know, I know we got some people from the Money App group here. We got some, you know, guests from um, different places. So um, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my story before I get started, because I want you guys to know that, you know, you probably can relate to my story. Like, I'm no different from you guys at all. I just decided to make a, 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 a literally financial change in my life. So you guys, um, and let me know if you guys can relate. So, you know, growing up, you know, I see my mother and my father work for money their whole life. My mother had two jobs. My dad was in the army. He had one job. And, but they would never have time for us. My mom was always at work. My dad was always at work. And guess what? They will argue over money, right? They will argue over money. So they never had time to see me grow up. They never was at my track meets. They never was at my softball games. Why? Because they was at work. So at 11 years old, I asked myself, I said, Isis. How can you get your money, right? How can you get your money to work for you? Like, how can you do it? Because as a, a, as a small child, it's like I just, I see my, my parents do it, and I knew that I didn't want to fall into that trap. So if you guys have had this similar story, I just want you to put 11-11 in the comment bar if that was you. Did you grow up with your parents, like, working very, very hard, right? So check this out, you guys. I found myself about, um, I want to say maybe about two years, a year and a half, two years ago, I was actually living in my, um, living in my, uh, hold on, you guys got to mute everybody's lines, living in my, um, living in my uh, truck with one of my ex-partners. I started off living in my truck. I'll never forget her name, BB. That was my, my black whale, my 1500 Dodge Ram, right, Ram. Like, that was my home for about two and a half months, right? And then I went all the way up to Arcata, California, which is not the hot part of California, if y'all know, it's code. And um, I met this lady, I told her my story, and she was like, well, you know what, I do kind of have like an extra space y'all can sleep in, but you guys, the extra space was a shed. Now, back in the day, I was embarrassed. So I used to tell people it was a tiny home. Oh, oh yeah, I stayed, in a, I stayed in a tiny home in a forest in uh, Arcata, California. No, I stayed in the shed where you put the lawnmower at and you put the rake at. She just had like a little loft bed section where she kind of like made it where it's like a little loft bed. But that's it. That's all I had in there. What me and my ex-partner was in there. It's two grown people in this little, small, little thing. I stayed in there for about seven and a half, eight months, y'all. And in that time, I was faced with that same question. Isis, how can you get your money to work for you versus you exchanging your time and energy for money? Because that's all I see my parents do, right? Like, it came to the point, and y'all probably like, well, why you just didn't get a job? Because I didn't want a job, y'all. I didn't want to be a slave to a job. No disrespect on jobs because we need people working jobs. But some of y'all don't want to work a job anymore. So I'm talking to you, right? I didn't want to work a job. And I didn't want to. I would rather sleep in that shed than to sell my soul to a job, right? So I got creative. I said, you know what? God didn't put me on this planet just to work for people. I know God didn't do it. She wouldn't do that for me. She wouldn't just put me on this planet to just work, 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 work. So what did I do? They say when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Shout out to Sky Sinclair. Sky Sinclair told me about this Forex market that we're about to learn about today because that's what we're here. We're here about the Forex market. So you guys, when Sky Sinclair told me about Forex, she showed me the school like I'm about to show y'all the school. Even though I didn't know what Forex was, I didn't still get it. 
But here's one thing about me. Y'all all should have the same thing. You all of y'all should have faith in yourself. There's no way in the world that you can walk in faith and fear at the same time. You can't. That means you just truly don't believe in yourself. But I believed in myself and I knew that no matter what it was, I was going to conquer it. Because Forex is like anything new. When you first start something for the first time, you don't know how to do it. That's normal. It's new. That's okay. But guess what? You have been blessed with an almighty power. You come from an almighty source. So if that source is almighty and that source is all-knowing, what does that make you? So I want you guys to know tonight, you're going to hear some information that you never heard before. You're going to hear some information that may intimidate you. You're going to hear some information that's going to blow your mind. But one thing that I want you guys to remember, that you cannot walk in faith and fear. So many times people are like, I said I want to do it, but I'm scared. That don't mix, right? So let's go ahead and go, you guys. Now, before I show you this dynamic Forex community, before I show you where you can learn it, because that's what we're here for today. I don't know if you guys know it today, but today is behind the scenes of the school. Now, I know some of you guys are on a seven-day free money app trial, and that's good because you guys have been exposed to something that you never have heard of in your life. But what are you going to do after the seven days, right? After the seven days, you guys, you want to be able to, um, you want to be able to um, expand your knowledge. Now, before I can show you all the academy, I got to get in your mind. I have to, because here's the thing, you guys, money is a mindset. The only thing difference between wealthy and the poor is that the wealthy educate themselves on financial literacy. They educate themselves on how money works. If you want to get out of your financial situation, you can't keep doing the same things. You just can't. You want to keep getting the same results. Now, I don't know if y'all knew it or not. And I hope you guys are taking notes because what I'm about to share with y'all on this whiteboard is heart attack series. Because here's the thing I want y'all to know. Parents, grandparents, if you don't know about financial literacy, now really think about this real quick. Think about this. Think about this for a second. If you don't know about financial literacy, who is going to teach your kids? I'll wait. If you don't know about financial literacy, who is going to teach the babies about financial literacy? The school's not going to teach them. Y'all know that. Why? Because they ain't teach me. Why? Because they ain't teach you. So if you don't do this, you guys, you're really setting your generation up for failure. You're setting your kids up for failure. You're setting your grandkids up for failure. Why? Because a job cannot be passed down, y'all. It just can't. If my mom and dad would have had the information that I had right now, I wouldn't even be in the situation I was two, three years ago because they would have set me up. So I'm inviting you today to really have an open mind because you're doing this not just for yourself, but for your generation. So let's talk about these four ways of making money. It's literally two, two ways because it's either you are working for your money, exchanging time, energy, labor, selling a product, you're just working for it. Or you do like us, bosses. We get our money to work for us. As I talk on this phone with y'all right now, my money is working for me. I'm a full-time Forex trader. I don't work for anybody, right? So let's talk about it. So the first way, and I want y'all guys to know, you don't got to know how to write and make money. Because I'm telling you, my writing is crappy. <laughs> but luckily, I don't need to know how to write to make money. So I want you to follow along. So the first way to make money is an employee. E for employee. Think about it. Think about it for a second. Now, 60% of people are employees. Come on now, I need y'all to follow me. 60% of people are employees. What does that mean? That means they work a job. And I want you guys to know, we're not down on jobs, but we are up on opportunities because there's so many opportunities for you to do and you don't have to work a job. You just got to expand your mind. You got to get out of your own way. You got to get out of your comfort zone. 
right? So we know a job is just over broke. Y'all know it's just over broke. They give you just enough money to survive. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I want y'all to know throughout this whole call, I'm going to be speaking facts. And it's really going to be speaking to some of y'all because y'all know I'm speaking the truth. Right? So when you think about a job, what do you think about? A person that works nine to five. Nine to five, you're working. Right? You're working for your money. Now, let's bring it down to self-employed. Now, this is the quadrant where people get confused. People who are self-employed, they think they're business owners. But you're not. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, 35% of people are self-employed. Does anybody know a self-employed position? And if you do, come off mute and let's talk about it. What is a self-employed position? Somebody give me a job. Massage therapist. What now? A massage therapist. Okay, massage therapist. What else? Uber driver. Uber. Okay, that's enough. Thank you, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Let me mute your lines back. Let me mute, mute, mute your lines back. Mute your lines back. So we got we got massage therapists, we got hairdresser, we got Uber. Now y'all may think that y'all business owners, but you're not. Why? Because guess what? If the massages ain't getting done, no money coming into your account. If the hair ain't getting done, no money coming into your account. If you ain't driving people on Uber. There's no money coming into your account. So you still have to exchange your time and energy to make that money. You're still missing your kids grow up. Yeah, you don't have a boss, but your job is your boss. Your self-employed job is your boss. You're not really a boss as self-employed. You're not. You know why? That brings me on to the right side. So this is the left side of money. This is where a majority, this is where 95% of the world is on the left side of money. Seriously. I want you guys to think about your five closest friends. Are they self-employed or are they employees? Think about the five. If all five of them are on the left side of money, I want y'all to write the number. Put it in the chat bar. Put the amount of people in your, your closest friend circle that are self-employed or employed. Now, let's go to the business owner. Now, this is the right side of money. This is where y'all got to be. Y'all have to be here. Do you see how the coronavirus is knocking people out of their jobs? Some people don't even got jobs right now. Some of you don't even got jobs right now. I'm talking about cutting hours. We can't rely on the government no more, y'all. We got to take our power back. Y'all got to take your power back. Take your power back. So a business owner is a true boss. 4% of people are business owners. What does that mean, Isis? That means that their money is making money for them, right? Money making money for them. Now, this is why I say it's different. Because a boss doesn't have to be at work to make money. <laughs> Let me say that one more again for the people in the back. A boss, a true business owner, doesn't have to drive Uber to make money. Doesn't have to do it. They can have a hair shop, but guess what? They got leverage. You can do massages, but guess what? You got people doing massages for you, and you at the beach still getting paid. Now, see, if you was the owner of Uber, then you would be a business owner. Because guess what? The owner of Uber, do you think he's driving Uber cars? Come on, let's just get serious. Do you think that the person of Uber is driving people in Uber. No, he got y'all to do that. Think about the boss at your job right now. The CEO and the CFO and the executive president and all these people, are they working with you? No, they're not. They got you. <laughs> they got you to work for them and build their company up. Here's the thing. And this is another hard pill to swallow, but y'all got to, ooh, y'all got to see it. Because some of y'all going to get it and some of y'all not. I'm not talking to everybody right now. Because some of y'all just going to go back to the same old life. Because y'all going to let this intimidate y'all. But I'm talking to the ones that really want to change in your life. Right? When we work a job, y'all, remember, I'm not downing it. I'm not downplaying it. I was there. Right? But when we work a job, we're building somebody else's dream. 
If you work at Wells Fargo, guess what? You're building an empire for the person of, for, for Wells Fargo because you can't pass a job down to your generation. You can't. If you work in Walmart, you can't pass that down to your child. But if you was a business owner, like your boss is, you can be building your empire. We got to stop building other people's business and build our own. All right? If y'all feeling, if this is touching your soul and y'all feeling these facts, I want y'all to comment 1010 in the, in the comment bar. I got to see who I'm working with. I got to see who I got on this phone call. All right? And that brings us to the last quadrant, which is the I, the investor quadrant. That's why we're here today. We want to get like the one percenters. Let me tell y'all. Some of the people on this line that invited you, they're part of the one percenters. We're trying to get y'all a part of the one percenters. Do you want to continue to be on the 95 or you want to be with the five? You get what I'm saying? Do you want to continue to be on the 95% where everybody else going with the flow like a zombie? Or do you want to be on the 5% where the wealthy is? Where the wealthy making money, their money making money for them. They generations is took care of. So 1% of people are investors. What does that mean? That means we get to wake up when we're done sleeping. Imagine this, y'all. I don't wake up in the morning because my alarm clock went off. I wake up because I'm done sleeping. I literally wake up when I'm finished sleeping. I'm not forced to wake up because I got a clock in or clock out. Because I have freedom. I have time freedom. I took my time back. You guys have to take your time back because check this out. Somebody that controls your time, controls your mind. Somebody that controls your time, controls your mind. What do I mean by that? You grown, you a grown man and you a grown woman. If you got to ask somebody for a lunch break, you got to ask somebody when you could take a vacation. You got to ask somebody for sick leave. You grown. Why are you asking another grown person when you could take lunch? Why are you asking another grown person when you could go on vacation? It's because you don't control your time. And but because you don't control your time, somebody else controls your mind. Y'all might need to put that on y'all Facebook tomorrow. Hashtag me. Right? Somebody that controls your time controls your mind. Think, right? Now, why is it that 95% of the world continue to give their money to 5% of the world and 5% of the world own 95% of the money? People lining up to go get Jordans. 95 percenters. Smart people don't think like that. 95 percenters lining up to go get some freaking J's. All right? We got to wake up. We got to wake up. You have to wake up. All right? So now that we got that out the way, ask yourself, what side of money are you on? What side of money do you want to be on? All right? So this last thing I'm going to show y'all before I show y'all this academy, I had to open y'all mind up. Because y'all need to see where y'all are in life. You need to see exactly where you are in life, right? Now, let's talk about stocks and Forex. Because we always get it confused. Today, we're talking about Forex. You can trade stocks on the Forex market. You can trade cryptocurrency on the Forex market, right? But let me tell you some differences. I want y'all to write this down. Write it down. Write it down. Uh, they say note takers are money makers because if y'all trying to remember all of this off the grip off your head It ain't gonna work. It's too much information. It's too new now Let me give y'all a couple fun facts now the stock market is only a 22 billion dollar a day market 22 billion would a B. now the Forex market is a seven trillion dollar a day every 24 hours Excuse me there's $7.7 .7 trillion. In. Does anybody know how many zeros is in a trillion? Somebody come on mute. Let me know. I think it's 12. 12. Hello. Right? And they didn't even teach us in school. We stopped it. And we didn't even get to a trillion. A lot of people don't even know that. Right? Now, check this out. That means that the stock market is bigger than the Forex market. It's way bigger. 
right? Now, the stock market is only open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. So if you got off work at 7 o'clock, guess what? You can't even trade. You can't even trade because you got off work at 7. But guess what? I got something for y'all. The Forex market is open 24-7. Just like that. 24-7. Right? It's open 24-7. That means you can get off at 12 o'clock at night. You can wake up to go get you some water. And it'd be 1 o'clock in the morning. You might be like, you know what? I'm about to make me some money before I go to work. Because I may make so much, I don't even got to go to work today. Right? So you have a more opportunity with Forex to trade all day. Now check this out. What is Forex? Forex is the foreign exchange market. All it is is the dealing of currencies. If we go to Mexico, no, if we go to Europe right now, European people don't use American money. Now do they? No. So when we got to the airport in Europe, we will go to the foreign exchange building. Some of y'all probably have seen it, but because you don't have the financial education to spot it, you just walk past it. But it's in, it's in there. It's in the airport, the foreign exchange. So what we would do is we would take our American money and we would exchange it for euro. That's all it is. Stocks is dealing with companies. Tesla, Apple, Beyond Meat, Home Depot. That's stocks. Stocks and currency is forex right now let me give y'all two more fun facts and i'm gonna show y'all what y'all been waiting for right with the stock market you're only making money when the market goes up if i buy tesla at 100 and tesla go up 100 i made a hundred dollar profit but if i bought tesla at 100 and tesla go down 100 i minus 100 now let me tell y'all something now with forex y'all making money when the market's up or the market's down we catching the buy and we catching the sale. We don't got no limitations on our money. The last, last, last fun fact is that the Forex market is recession proof. What does that mean? Right now we're going through a recession. I don't know if y'all know what that means. You might need to research it and Google it. But we're going through a, a recession. Our economy is failing. But guess what? If you just only rely on stocks, stocks is not recession proof. That's why the stocks are crashing. But guess what we doing? We making money because it don't affect us. If anything, I'm not even going to lie. I, ha I mean, this pandemic has paid me gratefully. My business, my money has increased because of the corona, to be honest. I mean... I send prayers out to everybody who's going through whatever they're going through. But I'm saying it to say that no matter what type of pandemic or epidemic comes, we're still going to be making money, right? So let's go ahead and dive in it, y'all. Let's go ahead. Let me show y'all. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Uh... That's weird. That's a weird take profit. But let me go ahead and share my screen. My bad, y'all. I was in a trade earlier. <laughs> so I wanted to check the trade. I actually cashed out before I got on the phone with y'all. That's why I said, like, one thing about this is you don't need people to make money. Somebody, so most people think, oh, well, because let me tell y'all. So you don't need people to make money. This is not network marketing. You're not getting paid based off of who you sign up. You can sign up nobody and still make money, right? But everybody has an affiliate program. Everybody has an affiliate program. Home, um, Amazon has an affiliate program. Best Buy, Uber. But guess what? Best Buy and Uber don't say, well, if you don't tell anything, tell anybody about our business, you can't shop with us. No, it's optional. So we also have an optional affiliate program if you want to opt into it, but it's optional. See, most people think, oh, well, you know, uh, somebody that builds the business makes more money than a trader. That's the most craziest thing I ever have heard. Trading is a $7.7 .7 trillion a day market. How is somebody that's building a team going to eat the comp plan don't even go to a trillion? So that's the most craziest thing I ever heard. And if anybody has ever told you that, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> you might want to go back and check your fact, check your source. I've been doing this for three years, strong, full time, right? I know the ins and outs of this, right? 
So a trader will always make more money than an affiliate person. Right. So I just wanted I just wanted y'all to know that this is not one of those things where you gotta sign people up to make money. Cause to be honest, truthfully, the person that invited you on this line, they wanted you to make money with them, but they don't need you to make money. We just want y'all to be able to, to get a piece of the pie. See, most people, when they get information like this, they want to hoard it. They don't want to tell nobody. They want to be quiet. Shh, I ain't telling nobody about this. But that's not how I operate. I want everybody to come up. I know that how living in a car feels. I know how it feels. Being scared to sleep in parking lots as a woman, not knowing who's going to come up to the truck and try to just mess with you trying to find parking lots to sleep at going to gyms just so i can keep my body clean at the gyms so heck no i'm not going to keep my mouth quiet why that's selfish that's really selfish that would be really selfish of me if i would keep my mouth quiet y'all wouldn't even be here today All right that's not how i operate though so what i'm showing you guys right now is our 4x academy basic advanced and intermediate knowledge even if you already got some knowledge in forex guess what we got some advanced for you and we got some intermediate now people like to come up with excuses because they're scared fear equals excuses just how it is people make up excuses because they're scared but remember we cannot walk in faith and fear at the same time so i'm gonna go ahead and knock out the first excuse that some of you guys are gonna to try to come up with only because you're letting this scare you. The first excuse that some, and even it's so funny because even after I say this, <laughs> some of y'all still gonna say that you don't have time. It baffles me, but I remember only 20% is gonna hear what I'm saying. Now check this out. How many of you guys, and I wanna come off mute and I wanna hear your voice. How many of you guys spend about 30 minutes to an hour on social media? Let me hear it. Me. Anybody else? Me. All right. Been, yeah. Yeah, I'll be on there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. check this out. All right. All right, family, check this out. Check this out real quick. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. So you cannot be that person. Everybody that answered. You cannot be that person. Well, ISIS, I don't, I don't got time. Get off social media. Is social media changing your bank account? Is social media putting money into your pocket? Is social media helping you lead that job? Let's just think about it. No, it's not. So for you that want to make up an excuse that you don't have time, get off social media. and You'll have time. We all have time. We all have time. We just don't realize how we waste time on unproductive activities. Everybody got 24 hours in a day, the richest to the poorest. But what are you really doing with your time? That's what separates the rich and the poor. What are you doing with your time? So I asked you guys that question because these videos are short. This first video is only two minutes and 36 seconds. You just told me that you'd be on social media for 30 minutes and more. So how are you gonna make up an excuse and say, I wanna do it, but I don't have time. But you got time for social media. <laughs> it's funny, right? It, it trips me out. But these are the things that people say, right? So check this out. I'm gonna play a little bit of this video because I want you guys to see that the quality, this is a billion dollar school, by the way. So we make sure that we give you guys prestige education. This ain't no YouTube type of thing. See, most of y'all, y'all gonna try to take the cheap way out. Cheap never equals wealthy. Remember, wealthy is a mindset. Some of y'all gonna be like, well, I can, I can just go learn this on YouTube. You probably could. But you know how long it will take you? Why? Because you don't know where to start. So you're going to be gathering information from that YouTube video, going over there, looking at that YouTube video, going over there, looking at that YouTube video, when you could just invest in yourself and get the full academy that's going to walk you through step by step. Let me go ahead and play this for y'all real quick. Welcome to the I Academy. In this video, we're going to discuss what. 
Okay, my internet's kind of is for it slow because everybody at home. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the whole thing. I just want y'all to see the quality of the video. Um, yeah, I want you to see the quality of the video, right? So, like I said, my internet's kind of slow. Ever since this freaking Corona, everybody's at home on the internet. So internet has been crazy, right? But I want you guys to see these videos. See, this is excuse number two. And even after I say this excuse, some of y'all still gonna use the excuse. <laughs> it just always happens. The first, the second excuse that some of you guys are gonna use because you're gonna let this scare you and you're gonna stay in your comfort zone and you're gonna stay broke, All right? The second excuse is, I got, I gotta do some more research. I gotta research. What are you researching? We're telling you the facts. You're gonna research the facts. For this forex foreign exchange market 7.7 .7 trillion dollars a day open monday through, uh, uh through friday 7 24 7. the things that you want to research is right here this is what i had to research let me tell y'all this let me tell y'all and i had and I, and I had to be real with myself i had to research why my bank account kept looking the same year after year i had to research why my bank account three years ago was looking like gas prices. So if y'all wanna do some research, I'm talking about some digging, research your bank account. No frill, research your bank account. Ask yourself, why in the last past three to five years, why does your bank account look the same? Why don't you see any increase? Research that. If you're gonna put some time and energy into something, research that, okay? Because everything that you need to know is right here. Buy versus sell, lot size, what is the pending order? Everything is right here. There's no need to research. The research has been done for you. So please don't use that excuse. Just keep it real. After this call, it's up to y'all to make a committed decision. Either you're gonna do it or you're not. And if you was real, when a person hit you up after this call, don't ignore them. But guess what? Some of y'all are so stuck in y'all pride. When a person hit you up after the call, you're still going to ignore them. Be real. If you scared, say you scared. Let them know. Hey, look, I'm a little scared. Don't ignore them. But some of y'all still going to ignore them because y'all don't know how to just be real and tell them what the real deal is. We're not here to convince y'all. We're making the money. We want to invite y'all to make the money with us. So after this call, it's a committed, it's, you just make a committed decision. Either you're going to do it or you're not. Simple. Simple. Don't ignore the person that invited you here. Be real. Communicate. We'll be the hardest people on the streets, but the weakest inside. Don't make no sense. Now check this out. This is, oh, I love this. This is our confident quiz. So after you get done watching that video, right? Guess what? You go take this quiz and you build up your confidence. There's no professor going to be watching this. There's no teacher going to be grading this. And this education is continued. It don't stop. This is not like, well, how long is this program? This program goes as long as you want it to go. We have people making seven figures. Now, I know some of y'all don't even know what seven figures mean. But we got people making 100 k 100000 200000 50000 They still in the academy. They still learning. Right? So I wanted to put that out there now. So, that, so that's one thing that you're getting with this. So this is a membership base. I'm going to talk about how much it costs. It's not free. It's not free. All right? But you can afford it. Why? Because you spend money on stuff already that don't bring you the results that you want gonna change your mind right so you're getting the academy that's gonna give you basic write this down because some people are gonna be like uh uh what am i paying for again write it down and you'll know all right so you're gonna get the academy it's called the academy that i am our school is called i am academy that's the name of our school we've been thriving for seven years debt free right so you're going to get the academy, you're going to get the quizzes, 
Let me take y'all on to the next thing. Now, I want y'all to be honest with me because I want y'all to know this ain't no presentation. Y'all see ain't no slides up. This ain't nothing. I'm getting straight to the point and being transparent with y'all. Why? Because I know I ain't got time to waste, and I definitely don't want to waste y'all time. I definitely don't want to waste y'all time. Matter of fact, after I get off the call with y'all, I got to go teach a class. So my time, I value my time. So I wanted to be straight up with y'all today. Now, how many of you guys watch TV, Netflix, Hulu? What's your show? I'll go first. When I have time, keyword, when I have time for TV, I like to watch, watch The Walking Dead. Somebody come off mute, let me know. Power. Let's go. Who else? Black Sleep. Okay, Black Sleep. Okay, what else? I'm not. All right, cool. That's enough. Thank you so much. That's enough. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for being cooperative, right? So here's the thing. Now, I told y'all I'll watch some TV too whenever The Walking Dead is popping, right? But I wanted y'all to pay attention to the key words that I said. I said when I have time, I watch TV. Some of you guys, that's just, that's a normal thing. <laughs> you, just, you just do it all day long. And there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not shutting y'all from watching TV, but this is what I will tell y'all. This is a hard pill to swallow, but y'all know I like to keep it real. You can't watch TV and be broke. You cannot be entertained and broke. You can't be on the couch kicking at power at the walking dead at how to get away with murder and you broke. How, how that work? How, how that work? How does it work? Because when I'm watching The Walking Dead, guess what? Rick, LaShawn, and all them people on the show, they getting their money. They got their residual money rolling in. Every time we watch these TV shows, these people are getting paid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think some of y'all understood that. I'm going to say it one more time because it's still not registering in some of y'all heads, right? Hold on. You cannot be entertained and broke. Remember, rich mindset versus poor mindset. You have the time. It's just that you're spending time doing things that are not getting you the results. That's why your, the, our life will continue to be the same because we keep doing the same things over and over. It's like a wheel over and over over guess what happens to your kids they live a life over and over why because you ain't teaching them because you don't know that's why you gotta get this that's why you have to learn how to get your money to work for you and stop working for it man my people i really want y'all to get this i really want i want everybody to come up i want to see everybody come up Right? So check this out. I asked y'all if y'all watch TV because this is the TV y'all need to watch. This is smart money TV. Why is it smart money TV, Isis? Because it's the TV that's going to get you paid. If you want to watch something, watch something that's going to change your bank account. If you want to watch something, watch something that's going <clears> to <throat> help you leave your job. Come on, y'all. We got to do better. We got to do better. So we have over 180 channels, 180 money channels that's going to pay you. You can be entertained and paid. So these people that you see up here are some of our top feature sessions just today. So just today, 43,000, thousand people watched his channel today. 20, 39,000 people watch her channel today, so on and so forth. Now, you got to ask yourself something. If this wasn't working, come on now, this is common sense, common sense. If this wasn't working, why would so many people tune in? Why, why would they tune in on these channels if these, if these channels didn't really represent what they are? A little bit of common sense got to come into that, right? It's working. That's why they're tuning in. We're getting paid to watch TV. Now, check this out. I don't know if y'all do drop shift or e-commerce or anything like that, but we just added on a whole new education. 
oh my gosh, this, this just blew my mind. Not only can you come into our school and learn about Forex and learn about uh, cryptocurrency and learn about binary options. Y'all, we just launched. I think, I don't know if it's open yet, but they just put the beta testing where you can learn about e-commerce, drop shipping, Spotify. So not only are we a trader platform, we also have e-commerce. Sheesh. Talking about the value. Oh my gosh. So let's just click on one of these. These are, so imagine this like your TV. You got ESPN, HBO, all the channels that don't pay you, right? But well, we're going to click on a channel that pays us. We want that money. Don't y'all want that money? Don't y'all want a financial change? Right? I know that's why y'all got on this call. Y'all want to change. So check this out, y'all. And I'm going to show y'all one more thing, and I'm going to wrap this up, because I'm not about to overcook the grits. Like I said, I'm not in the convincing business. It is what it is. You're going to make money with it, so you're not. Period. All right? So just like your TV guy, just like your TV guy, you can see what time the game coming on. You can see what time Walking Dead coming on. But guess what? With the smart money TV, you can see when the educators are going to come on. Y'all, who, who made money? I want somebody to come on me. Who made money from Smart Money TV yesterday? Come on, me. Let me know if y'all made that money with me yesterday. I did. I did. <laughs> Let's go. Did. Yes. We stay making money off this together as a community. You're not in this by yourself. We hop on Zoom calls just like this and make money together. Let me ask you this. The five friends that you with with right now, are y'all sitting together masterminding on how to make money or are y'all complaining about what's going on? You got to change your environment. If you're not around people that uplift you, pour into you and want to see you doing better, you're with the wrong friends. I'm telling you, you're with the wrong friends. So really quick, y'all remember when we was in school and we didn't understand something, what did we do? We raised our hand to the professor. Hey, can you ask this question? It's the same thing. But guess what? You're not in the classroom. You're in a virtual classroom. So if you got questions, guess what you got to do? Bing, bing, bong, bong, bong. Ask the questions in there. It's just like raising your hand. Don't complicate it. Don't let this intimidate you. It's very simple. It's new. It looks hard, but it's new. Just like when you go to your job for the first time. You just read a job description. You don't go say, well, I need to research this job first before I take this job. No, you do the interview and you sign up. You don't know everything about the job, but guess what? They teach you on the job. There's no difference. Stop complicating this. Stop. Some of y'all right now, y'all being rude. Why? Because I'm talking to y'all and y'all talking to y'all ego. Tell your ego to shut up. Because each and every one of you guys on this call are powerful. Powerful. Some of y'all don't even know how powerful y'all are. I got to remind y'all how powerful y'all are. Right? All you got to do is believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. How much do you really believe in yourself? Do you really believe in yourself? So I'm going to play this quick video. I just want y'all to see the quality. Oh, we made money off of this one today too. Anybody got Can you on? Hear me now. Anybody got on today and made money off of that Euro USD? Yes. Yes, sir. Woo. Yeah, I did too. Yes, indeed. Let's Baby. go. Baby. Three. Let's go. Let's go. Did it. Shout out to Nicola. Y'all don't know who she is. I don't even know if she's on this line, but she's been trading with us for a month and a half. Her first live account. She took 10 cents, and I can show y'all the screenshot, because, like, I don't, I don't have time to lie. She took 10 cents and made that 10 cents into $105. Jakara, how long did it take her to cash out? Because I knew you was right there with her. How long did she make that money? How long did it take her to do that? Mm, I don't know. Maybe, like, 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. About 30 minutes, right? Yeah, not, not long. long. Now, let me ask everybody on this phone right now. Ooh, it's so simple. Some of y'all going to miss it. How many of you guys are taking 10 cents, 
two nickels, 10 pennies, and flipping it into $100 in 30 minutes. Come off mute, let me know if you're doing it. If you're not a trader, come off mute, let me, let me hear it. Oh, damn, it's quiet. Cause ain't nobody doing it. Let me mute the line. Ain't nobody doing it. You're not doing it because you're not trading. You're not growing your money. This is why we're saying we're growing money. This girl took 10 freaking cents. My guys, I got 10 cents in my wallet. She took 10 cents from her trading account and made a hunt. Isis. Yes, yes. Damon did the same thing. Damon oh, yes. did the same thing. Shout out to Damien. I don't know if he's on his phone, but shout out to Damien. Damien, I hope you don't mind me putting it out there. But Damien had $150 in his live account. He took 10 freaking cents from that $150 and made $97 off one money TV session. These people are telling us what to put in the cell phone. That's why I'm saying it's so simple that y'all going to miss it. Somebody is telling y'all what to put in the phone. You don't even got to think. Sheesh. I want y'all to know I'm not yelling at y'all. I'm just fired up. I'm literally watching people who don't know nothing about this make money right before my eyes. They're no different from you. They're no special from you. We all put our pants on the same. The only thing difference between them and you is they made a committed decision to change your life. That's the difference between them and you. But I know some of you guys today are going to get started because you're getting tired of living that life that you're living right now. We need more money to help more people. It's not just all about the money. It's about how many people can we help. It's about let me get in my jet versus let me not take a spirit fight. I don't know about y'all, but I would rather fly a jet than take a Delta flight. We all deserve that. Abundance is our birthright. We're not supposed to be struggling, y'all. That's an illusion, right? So I get very passionate. I just had to break that down for y'all because it's just, it's so simple that some of y'all gonna miss it. So here go all the recordings, just like DVR, you can go back, rewatch it, relearn it, replay it. This last thing I'm going to show y'all, because I got to get off of here in five minutes. I got to teach a class, right? This last thing I'm going to show y'all, I want y'all to just, uh, please, I, I just really want y'all to focus. Because even if you don't know how to trade, come on, y'all, hear my voice. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. Because everybody on this line should be joining today. Why? Because half, I, I don't know who we got on this line. But I know that a lot of people on this line, money is not working for them. This is the only profession that's going to teach you how to grow your money without selling and without recruiting. Right? So if you're not in a position where your money is making money for y'all, oh my gosh, don't miss it. Don't miss it, y'all. Don't miss it. Now check this out. I used to cheat in school. I know some of y'all used to cheat. I ain't even got to ask you. Right? I cheated my whole way out of high school in math class. Y'all, when I got to that high school math, I was like, ooh, geometry, what? A squared minus what? What? Uh-uh. I want y'all to know, y'all don't need to know math. If y'all thought y'all needed to know math, baby, y'all don't. Because when I tell you I did not know math, I wouldn't even be here today <laughs> if it was about math, right? So take that out of your head. It's not about math. It's about patterns. So what I want you guys to see, and shout out to all my money apps, right? And shout out all my, if y'all from the money app group, I want y'all to put in the comment bar, hashtag money app. If y'all from the money app group, I don't know where my money apps at, right? So y'all know in the money app group, we was throwing out them signals, right? But guess what? All we had to do was come here and get it. Look, this thing is telling you where to take profit is, where to stop what is. Remember we was telling y'all, take profit one, stop loss, guess what? When y'all become a member, you don't even have to rely on us to tell you. Only thing you got to do is log in and get the answers yourself. It's so simple. Some of y'all going to miss it. Who cares what the investment is? This is teaching you how to grow your money. So check this out. If we would have gotten this trade, right? If we would have gotten this trade, 
Y'all see these candles? These are candles. These red and blue things are candles. It hit money point one and it hit money point two. You would have cashed out off of somebody else's efforts. Just like when you copied in school, you copied off of somebody's paper because they had better grades than you and you did it with grace and ease. I want y'all to have the same courage. Have the same courage. This thing is 87% accurate. That means it makes A's and B's. Right now, if y'all was to do this, y'all would make an F. But guess what? Because y'all got this, y'all gonna make A's and B's, meaning, AKA, y'all gonna cash out. Sheesh. So simple. Some of y'all gonna miss it. Now, check this out, y'all. That's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you one last thing, and I'm gonna take questions. I'm gonna tell you how much it is, and we're gonna go from there. All right? Now, let me show y'all our group, because you're not in business by yourself. You're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So really quick, how many minutes I got? Ooh, I got about two minutes. Two minutes. I got to hurry up and teach this class. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm waiting on this internet to log up. So this is what I'm going to show y'all. When you get started, y'all know how we've been. Some of y'all like in the Money App group, you know how we've been like talking to each other and helping each other. Let me tell y'all, that group ain't nothing on the group that we got right here. Y'all talking about positive energy? Sheesh. It's a positive energy hub. Dang, we must have just got a new trader. Okay, somebody just got started with us. Everybody welcome to him in, right? He just got started. See, look, we got a call at 9 o'clock. That's why I got to get off of here with y'all, all right? So in this group, everybody is helping each other. We all helping each other. Shoot, today, one of our leaders sent somebody $100 just for completing the assignment she said the first person that completes the assignment in two hours i'm gonna cash at y'all do you know that she cashed at them a hundred dollars i was like damn i should have did it myself too that's how we look out for each other that's how much we care about each other see you can join up with anybody there's a whole bunch of people doing this but you gotta ask yourself the person that's signing you up what kind of community are they in how do they big each other up what is the support like? We do things together. Y'all, last week we had a barbecue. Down here in Atlanta, we had a cookout. This Saturday, we have a super Saturday virtually. Where we're going to work out together. We're going to do uh, yoga together. We come together as a community. Okay? So that was the last thing I wanted to show y'all. Like I said, I don't want to overcook the grits. But I got one thing to ask y'all. Let me see who I'm going to pick on. I need somebody to be my volunteer. D. Renee, are you there? Yes, I'm right here. Let me ask you something, D. What's your favorite car? Um, I like the BMW sports cars, like white, blue, and black. Okay, white, blue, and black. What year? 2020? Yeah, it got to be new. Okay, so check this out, D. I didn't hit it big on a trade, trade, right? And I come to your house, I pull up on this BMW sports model, blue and white, and I say, D, I got this car for you. However, girl, however, I ain't paying for this registration. The registration is $240. Now, here's the kicker though, D. I say, D, I'm gonna give you this card, but girl, I need that, I need that uh, registration money in about four hours. Now, D, if you didn't have that money at home, would you do whatever it took to get that money for that card? Yeah, let's, yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> it's, your, it's your dream car, right? Yeah, I'm coming up with it. So check this out. If anybody else can agree, if y'all can agree with D, I want you guys to put car in the chat bar. Like the chat bar up, if y'all can agree. If I pull up with y'all dream car, but I told y'all I'm not paying for the insurance, and y'all didn't have the money, would you find the money in four hours? Somebody got a car in there, <laughs> right? No, that's a, that's, a truthful, that's a truthful question, right? Would you find the money in four hours for your, for your car? Right now, here's the question though D is a car a liability or an asset? It's a liability all day. And what is a liability, D? A liability is when you're paying the money and you're not going to get nothing back on it. Got you. Is your financial education a liability or an asset? Oh, that's an asset, especially if you're going to get money back from that. There you go. Now, uh, this is, and then we can see everybody in the chat bar. We got Terry, we got Milton, we got Tawana. All y'all said mm -hmm. that y'all would do it. We see it right now. Y'all all said 
in four hours if you didn't have money for a liability that you would get it for a car. Now, this is where we're going to see who lying at. That's why we see your name right there. We can see your name right here. This membership to join is $235. Check this out. This is, this is wealthy mindset versus poor mindset. Now, if you can go out in four hours, now this is what, as I said, we're gonna see who lying. Some of y'all just commented in the chat bar because y'all wanted to be cool, right? But if you can get the money in four hours for a freaking car, that's not gonna bring you any money. That's gonna keep you still at that same job. That's gonna keep your bank account still looking like gas prices. If you could get the money in four hours for that, Milton, Tawana, J Boss, D Renee, some of you guys that answered, why can't you get the money in four hours for this academy? Wealthy mindset versus poor mindset. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. Because here's the thing. We spend $235 every month on crazy stuff. If you got cable, turn your cable off. Shout out to D. Renee. D. Renee would to go turn all of her cable boxes in. All of them. All of them. So if you feel like, hold on, y'all. I'm running over. Um. If you feel like, well, I, I, I don't have the money. I don't have the money for it. Cut your cable off. You don't need it. It doesn't pay you. It's just keeping you broker and broker, right? So, yes, we'll tell you how to pay in just a second. We got somebody already fired up. Let's go. Somebody already fired up, ready to get started. That's what I'm talking about. Them the type of people I want in my circle. I want them type of people in my circle. I can't deal with poor mindset people in my circle. This is going to make me go down. No disrespect. No disrespect, right? So it's 235 one time. Write this down. Some of y'all gonna miss it. Y'all gonna ask the same question, right? 235 one time. After 28 days, right? After 28 days, you have to pay your tuition. The tuition is $175 a month. That's like $6 a day. You spend $6 at McDonald's, at Chick-fil-A, at Popeye's Chicken, at your favorite smoothie place, at your favorite raw juice place. You spend it on your cell phone. This, you, you got the money. Come on. Cut back on the weed. Cut back on drinking. Cut back on the cigarettes. Turn the cable off. Do what you got to do. Get this information. You need it. Because here's the thing. If you don't have 235 to get started, that's why you need to do this ASAP. You got to think about it. This is 2020. $200 is not a lot in 2020. Back in the 90s, $200 was a big deal. Not in 2020. So if you don't have $235, that's why you need to do it. Everybody should be able to just pull $225 out their bank with grace and ease. If that's not you, that's why you need to do this. That's exactly why you need to do this. Now, we do have a scholarship program, and I'm going to close it because I see some of my students getting on this call, right? You can qualify for the scholarship program, and the scholarship program is saying, hey, if you know two people that you like, love, and trust, invite them to the Money App group. We're doing a Money App group on the 12th. Invite them to the Money App group so they can get exposed to this, right? And then if they join up with you, then that's going to waive your tuition. You don't even have to pay for this. Yes, you can pay for the whole year. You can pay for three months, six months, or the whole year, right? So you can get this for free. I don't even pay for this no more. I get this for free. Do you have to get two people? No, pay for it. It's worth it. Is it two people every month? No. You can sign up today. Your cousin can sign up two weeks from now, and your grandma can sign up next month. It don't matter. As soon as the two people come in, they're going to sign up with your, your code. The school is going to be like, uh-oh, Beverly's free. We're not going to charge her anymore. Just that simple. Just that simple. I'm going to say it one more again. 235, one time to get started. If you don't have it, you should, you should be, all y'all should be able to have that money in four hours. You do it for a car. <laughs> Why you can't do it for your financial education? I thought you said you wanted to change in life. All right? 20 days after, 20 days after, 
keyword after the day you sign up is when your membership is going to kick in, which is 174. You can qualify for the scholarship at any time. All right. That's been my time here, you guys. I really don't have time for questions right now, but guess what? After this call, the person that invited you, they're going to hit you up. Don't ignore them. Nine times out of 10, they're going to get you on the call with me. I'm probably going to have somebody cover down on my other call. They're going to get you on the phone with me, and I'm going to answer your questions. Don't ignore them. Be straight up. Just be straight up. Be real once in your life. All right? So I love you guys. I'll catch you guys at the beaches and the banks all around the world. Let's get this money, y'all, so we can help everybody around the world conquer poverty. Peace.